Okay, let's clear up some questions on protecting electronics in a Faraday bag. Odds are high you're not going to know when an EMP will strike, so you keep your electronics stored in the Faraday bag. For most people, that means they're not going to use these bags to protect the cell phones that they use day in and day out. But when you upgrade your phone, you can take your old phone, pack it full of survival information, and store it in the bag. Now you're gonna hear people say that it's pointless to protect a cell phone in here because the entire telecommunication systems will go down with the EMP, and then what good is your phone if you can't call anyone else? Well, that's built on some questionable assumptions. It depends on the strength of the EMP, the number of EMP attacks, where the EMP attacks are, maybe even what device, what particular cell phone it is, or where it's located in the home when the EMP hits. The closest you're gonna to get to answers is this government report and study from 2008. And Oh, look at who the publisher was. There's an entire chapter just on telecommunications. You can follow their methodology and see the test site that they built. Then you can follow their assumed results immediately after an EMP attack, four hours later, two days later, and 10 days later. But even they had to make a lot of assumptions in their study. So the reality is we just don't know, but obviously it is better to have protected electronics than not. Now speaking of protection, not only is this a Faraday bag, but it's also a dry bag. So it will protect your electronics, not just from an EMP, but also flooding or rain. I got this off the TikTok shop, you can too, or in shopping cart right down here by the Baroness's head.